As a significant part of agricultural activity, poultry farming is one of the main occupations in Karnataka today. What started as a small-scale backyard operation two decades ago is today a scientifically developed, organized, medium to large-scale operation. Karnataka state produces 480 crore eggs and 50 crore kilograms of chicken every year. The poultry sector has recorded an average growth rate of 12% to 15% in the last decade. Contribution of poultry farming is significant in the social and economic development of Karnataka. It has played a major role in the well-being of farmers. 33 lakh tons of maize is grown in 23 lakh acres of land in Karnataka annually. Around 24 lakh farmers grow this crop for the poultry sector. An estimated 60% of this maize production, that is about 20 lakh tons, is consumed by poultry sector for manufacturing chicken feed. Likewise, 3.5 lakh tons of soya bean is grown in 8 lakh acres of land in Karnataka annually. Of this, about 1 lakh ton of soya bean is consumed in the form of soya de-oiled cake by the poultry sector. As a result of this, farmers are getting good market and decent price for their crops, resulting in improving their economic conditions. Koli Sakan Kedaro, Ketcha Giradrinda, E. Jolakon Dutumo de Bele Siktaide. Poultry farms are also producing organic fertilizers, which is helpful to improve the fertility of agricultural land. Usage of organic fertilizers reduces the production of chemical fertilizers. It also helps in reducing the import of petrochemicals which are used in chemical fertilizers and save the foreign exchange of the country. Poultry companies have developed contract farming model for production of chicken meat and eggs across the state. In contract farming, farmer's family is self-employed in their own lands in rural India. They focus on production efficiencies and produce egg and chicken meat for human consumption. Poultry companies take all these risks. The grower gets paid on production performance efficiencies, thus creating an alternative source of income to the farmers throughout the year. This contract farming model has been recognized by the federal government and many NGOs as a very good primary and secondary income generation scheme for rural India. The poultry sector has created a lot of jobs for unskilled, skilled, semi-skilled, polytechnic graduates across rural and urban Karnataka. The sector generates employment for about 55 lakh people across the state. Most of this employment is in rural India, helping the state government to control and reduce population migration from rural to urban areas. There is also a lot of employment generated in sale, transportation, distribution and processing etc. These days, many poultry farms in the state are becoming self-reliant in power production through non-conventional energy sources like biogas and solar power. It helps the state to save power. Poultry farming is very helpful to provide nutrient foods like eggs and chicken.
many state governments are providing eggs with midday meals to the children to improve the nutrition level. Karnataka Poultry Farmers and Breeders Association was set up in Karnataka in 1991 to encourage the poultry farming in Karnataka. Karnataka Poultry Farmers and Breeders Association is an apex body of Karnataka Poultry Farmers and uh, it is uh, addressing the issues related poultry farming whether it is a policy decision or whether it is an infection or managerial issues or technical issues we are addressing it through various forums. The poultry sector is working on to connect with international markets for exporting poultry products. This will result in foreign exchange earnings to the country and higher employment creation in rural areas. Along with providing significant contribution to the state's social and economic development, poultry farming is emerging as a silver line for lakhs of people.